Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. This singer is one of the biggest singers in Greece, and I haven't heard him before, but I know he's really, really popular, and I wanted to see what all the fuss is about. I wonder if his singing will be as intricate as his guitar playing. He's good. It's interesting, I, I don't know much about Greek music and I'm sure that this is a nuance that comes up a lot, but there's a little ornament that you're getting in the guitar is also in his vocals where you're hitting the note below and then just really quickly sliding up. Actually, you get it a lot in Scottish folk music. Now, um, Nikos is really cool. He was actually originally from the Netherlands, although I think his family were Greek, and then they moved to Greece when he was a teenager. He played lots of different instruments, including guitar. You can hear he's highly skilled. But he also played the bazooki, which it looks like a kind of fancy lute. So he's very good at kind of instruments that you strum, I suppose. <laughs> Interesting. What I'm finding really interesting is how he's combining these really traditional aspects of the vocals, the runs, the scales that are really Greek, and then he's making it quite contemporary in the way that he's adding things like cry into his sound. A cry, cry is just uh, that sort of sound into your singing. Uh, uh, these dynamics, he kind of, um, he, he reminds me like of someone like Pablo Alboran, who um, does a kind of similar thing with Spanish music and flamenco. He uses some of little bits of flamenco elements, but then uh, transforms it into something that's a little bit more contemporary. And he's definitely doing that here with traditional Greek music. It's really beautiful. <laughs> And in the instrumentation. Interesting. I loved how he moved between strumming his guitar to kind of picking out different notes on the guitar. Look, I'm not a guitar person. That's not the correct term at all. But I, I love how he's also using traditional instruments as well as more modern instruments, a kind of more standard guitar and drum kit. Oh, it's really, really cool. It's an interesting combination and it really, really works. <laughs> His voice is so solid as well. Oh, 
Θέλω να με νιώσει, να μην με προδώσει. Θέλω να σ' ακούω να μου λε. Θέλω να με νιώσει, να μην με σκοτώσει. Θε πω δεν τελειώσαν όσα αρχίσαν για μα. He has, before he gets into this section, so much stability in his voice. He really understands it. He is also light enough that he is able to be really, really agile. It's not just that he's hitting all those notes. It's the way that he's moving in with lots and lots of little ornaments. Now, um, each style of singing has their own ornaments, their own way of moving through notes. If it was an R&B something, you might be like... Um, Hey, hey, you kind of don't hit that note dead on. Hey, and you might use something like a pentatonic scale. If you are blues, you might kind of slide more into a note and use a blues scale. And every different genre has their own scales and their own way of moving between the notes. So whether they're really, really dead on and precise, whether you slide, whether you scoop, um, whether there's different points where you do an ornament and... Um, I don't know a lot about um, specifically Greek, but it sounds really cool. <laughs> like there. Να μην με προδώσεις Θέλω να σ' ακούω να μου λες πως μ' αγαπάς Θέλω να με νιώσεις Να μην με σκοτώσεις Πες πως δεν τελειώσαν όσα αρχίσαν Really great singing. I get the feeling that he really likes music as a whole. You can hear how he uses his voice in a similar way to how he uses his instrument um, in the way that he constructs all those runs, um, all the ornaments. It's very, very similar. And I feel like you get two different types of singers, singers who are like pure singers and it's about range and it's about um, things that are just singer things, tone and things like that. And then you get people who um, construct things in a really musical way. People like Nina Simone um, and this guy. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.